want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. <laughs> but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Ha <laughs> ha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Welcome after, Stirmar. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heminger Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large work. But my youth... It's a shore! Protect the convoy! Fire! 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 Oh, it owns you, coward! Fire! Fire! Ready! Ready, bow! Fire! Bow! 
Fire to the Ukathorpe siege. orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willi and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. My sheepskin. That there is Eivor the wolf kissed. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. Oh. The Picts Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. 
Your son sent for me, Heming Yayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together. Unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons! Bring victory today! For tomorrow, we feast! Heroes, may they burn with flame unbridled! The pit chief hides behind his men like a cow. I have no doubt he will be well afraid, but I must be careful. I will have his head in giving a yard. No, no, stop, stop. I am fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My 
clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The heart in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Hemminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Trickway is wise, and has a keen mind to lead. At the all thing, no one would doubt his succession if he was named. Your sight is clear, and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freyja's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is the man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. <laughs> I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Arshtek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? 
Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebird. Was Strigvay not sent there by father to help? Was Strigvay not sent there by father to help? We must go! <laughs> Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Get to Drukvi! You'll be safe with him! Get you out. Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! Please! Anyone! Save my family! They're in here! Save my wife! Not me! My wife! Save her for- Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! There's nothing you can do now! Get to safety! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! You stranger! I thought this was my last day on Midgard. We need to clear a path! I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. If I will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank thee, all father. <coughs> Hold on to me. I can get you out.
I will tend to the injured, but there are many more. <sighs> oh, thank you, Philly. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doonfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Eivor, you found my secret ord. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Have a look at my father, a battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us, but that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. And you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! 
must see him before he goes. I hope he will, uh, if he has accepted Christ. Oh dear heavens, our young... Evo. to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse i had many good teachers hemingway y'all you chief among them i beg of you now do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. Dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, I am proud of what you have become, son, <laughs> and I am proud. Proud of what you will become, no matter. I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Willy, We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. <laughs> 